Hello, today I'm going to show you how to apply different pay rates for the same person, for the same resource in Microsoft Project. We have here simple project, one my project, and two tasks. First task is development with five days duration, and the second task is testing five days duration. Let me a little bit put here two more columns one will be work and uh, another will be cost now let's say for example that we have one single resource which will work on those two tasks but the different pay rates apply if one person works as a developer and if it works as a tester in a, in a second task so let's go here in view in resource sheet and let's put for example john okay now i will first change on file option display from my currency in my country to us dollars okay let's go here us dollars and let's say that John standard rate is 100. Okay, now you can see that if we apply John to task one and task two as well, he will work 40 hours for each task because five he is going to work eight hours per day, five days per task. And that those 40 hours, if we look at a cost table is 40 hours multiplied by $500. But let's say that John will be paid $200 per hour only for this task. So if because he is working as a tester, in that case, we are going to do this. We are going to go in view on the source sheet and we will double click on John. And you will see that I can here put different rates, which was explained in my uh, last video uh, uh, over the time. And I have five different, step, different tabs here, which means that different tab is different role. So let's say a, a default is A. So if I go back here and I put here, let's say, 1000 and I double click here, you will see that this will apply on standard rate on A tab. So let me put here back 100. Okay. Let me click on, on OK and you will see 100 here. So let's say that A table means that John is working as developer and on B table, He's going to work as a tester and he will be paid, for example, $200. Okay. Now you can see that here only standard rate is shown for tab A, so as developer. So if you want to see if there are, if there are any other roles for John, you should go here and see what is written on table B, on table C, on table D, and on table E. Well, one thing which is a little bit confusing, you cannot rename those tabs. So what I'm going to do, I will say here on John, on notes, here I will put apply tab tab a for developer and apply tab B for tester or something similar. So now I can see that I should be careful here. I can go here and say, okay, see that if, if he is developer, he is going to be charged on tab A and if he is tester on tab B. 
sorry here is something wrong so you can see tab b here okay tab b once again okay now we got what we wanted now let's go back here but and I, let me see what happens here now nothing why because if i want to apply different table then table a no matter if i'm going through here i can go here and say i will assign john here okay i will say assign i will get the same result so how can apply different role for this for this particular task which is test testing what i'm going to do i'm going to view okay now i'm going to apply task usage and i'm going to let's say here apply john or some other resources but in my case i'm going to apply john i can go here and say okay john here but still i have four thousand i'm going to use resource usage or task usage i will have task usage i will click on john twice and you will see if i click on task usage on john i will see here assignment information and in general tab you will see here cost rate table so i'm going to apply b if i apply b here you will see i can put cost as well here that john is going to be charged as developer 100 dollars per hour on task development but he is going to be charged $200 per hour and the total cost for testing will be $8,000. Why? Because on task usage, I choose, I click, double click on a particular resource, in my case, John here. And when I double click here, I can choose cost rate table. What will happen if I choose cost rate table C? Well, the cost will be zero. Why? Let's go back to resource sheet. Let's go back here. Let's go back to costs. And we will see that I didn't put standard rate for C, whatever C can be. Let's say that, let's say that I have apply tab C for project manager okay so here back task usage i applied c for john but since it is zero it will be zero what can i do i can go to resource sheet i can double click on john i can go to costs i can go to c and i can say okay let's be let me put standard rate 300 dollars per hour not 3000 and now if i go back to task usage i will see that the total cost is 12000 why because 40 hours multiplied by 300 dollars is 12 uh, uh, 12000 dollars so i can go back here and i can say development testing let's say project management okay let's let for simplicity just just i will put five days i will here apply john here as well and you will see that john is here four thousand why because once again automatically task uh, tab a uh, was applied once back here so development a testing let's go john let's say b for testing and for project management let's go here double click and let's go and choose c so four eight twelve why because 40 hours are uh, for each and every task but for development john is going to be charged 100 dollars per hour for testing 200 dollars and for project management 300 dollars hope this helps and uh, see you soon.